The idea that tax is some sort of wet blanket that ruins the economy is literally not borne out by the data. Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Richard. And, and we're, we're economists. economists. All right, Richard, our next question is, is tax a drag on the economy? Oh, uh, look, the idea that tax is some sort of burden or drag on the economy, a wet blanket. Uh, what did Tony Abbott say? That no... No country had ever taxed its way to prosperity. Yeah, it's kind of core right-wing econobabble to suggest that tax is somehow harmful to the economy. But luckily, there's hundreds of countries around the world and decades worth of data and actually we know that there's no evidence to support this. In fact, Matt, isn't it true that some of the fastest growing wealthiest countries in the world have got quite high levels of tax? Yeah, exactly right. So all we've got uh, almost 200 countries and they all arrange themselves differently. Some are low taxing, some are high taxing. And so why don't we have a comparison? And so we've got some data here and what we've got here to begin with is our level of taxation, tax to GDP ratio and the average income, GDP per capita. So this is basically how, how much the average person's income is in, in a particular country compared to how higher or the level of taxation in right. an economy. So we're going to put data up on here in a minute and the higher up here it is the more tax yep. and the further out here the, the richer the country basically. That's exactly right. So why don't we start with Australia. There's Australia. So right Australia, in the middle of the world. Right in the middle. <laughs> okay so you know it's tax to GDP ratio is a little bit less than 30 um, and its average income is a little bit less than 60,000. Okay. Okay so if we compare everybody to Australia we basically have what we have four quadrants. We have people, countries that we'll put in that are lower tax but also have a lower income so than if Australia. if a country was in here it would collect less tax than us. Yep. Less tax than us and have a lower income than us. Yeah and over here we have higher tax, lower income countries. So these are, these are countries that collect more tax, but also have a lower income. Right, and up here would be countries that have got, collect more tax in Australia and are richer than us. Yep. And down here would be the countries that collect less tax than us and are richer than us. So before we put the data in, if, if tax if, is a drag on if, the economy. If Tony Abbott was right about economics. Exactly right. We'll, we'll see lots of countries in this quadrant, yep. right? That is, they have lower tax, but because they have lower tax, they grow faster than us and they have higher income. And if Tony Abbott was right and no one can tax their way to prosperity, we wouldn't find any countries up here yep. collecting more tax than us that are richer than us. And we'd also find lots of countries up here because they were silly enough to have higher taxes and so and, they have lower they income. made themselves poor. And we wouldn't see many countries in this large quadrant here. Okay. So let's start with this quadrant. Let's see how many countries are in here. Oh, oh there's Thanks. a lot of countries in there, okay? So remember that I've got data here for about 160, 170 countries that are a low tax, but they also, low, certainly lower tax than Australia, but they're also a lot poorer than Australia. So to be clear, having low taxes hasn't made them rich. No, it hasn't worked for these countries at all. All right, so let's put the countries in this quadrant. Well, we've got a fair amount of countries up here. So collecting more tax than Australia, and have lower incomes than Australia. That's right. So these are the countries that, that are higher tax than Australia, but poorer. And finally, let's have a look up here where we shouldn't see any countries. Hang on, this is weird. So these countries collect more tax than Australia and have a higher income per person. Yeah, exactly right. So these are the countries that are taxing their way to prosperity effectively. Oh, wow, so Denmark's got very high taxes and it's slightly richer than Australia. Norway, Iceland, Switzerland, Macau, Luxembourg, all collecting a bigger share of tax in their economy than us, all richer than This is crazy. And this should be the quadrant that's absolutely chockers with countries. So this is, let's have a look here, this is countries that are lower tax than Australia and richer than Australia. Yep, exactly right. And we have very few. Mm. All We've right. The US, almost the same tax as us, really, slightly higher income. Yep. So, yeah, proof that it's possible, but pretty, pretty you know, close to us. Pretty close to us. But Ireland, Ireland, Singapore, Qatar. Now, Matt, have they got anything in common? Well, yes, they do. So, Qatar, for example, um, owns all of its gas and oil reserves. Right. And so rather than tax its citizens, it basically uses the profits to fund. So a government owned company owns and sells all of their gas. So yep. they get income from selling their gas rather than tax. 
Do we have a lot of gas in Australia, Matt? We do have a lot of gas. Do we in make it? a lot of money selling it? We don't. We, uh, give, we give it away we to foreign away. companies. Whoops. Yeah. Oh, well, let's leave Qatar out then. We what have about... Singapore and Ireland. Now, Singapore in particular is a, is a single nation state. It's uh, quite good if you want to avoid tax. Yep. Like, it's a great place to set up. Do some people call it a tax haven? They do. And Ireland... Um, to a lesser extent is also the same. It's, it's within the EU um, and it uses its uh, status as a, uh, a low tax place within the EU that you can set up your company. Right. So there are some countries around that have got lower taxes in Australia that are a bit richer than us. Yep. But there's more countries that have got higher taxes than us and are richer than us. And, you know, it's a democratic question. I reckon a lot of Australians would prefer to live in a society like Norway or Denmark and get the services they provide rather than, say, Singapore, which is a very much uh, catch and kill your own approach to welfare and a lot of public support. But certainly if we look at all of the countries, there, there tends to be this upward sloping um, effect. That is, countries with lower taxes tend to be lower income and countries with higher taxes tend to be higher income. So in, in other words, when it comes to tax, the exact opposite of Tony Abbott's dictum is true. There's lots of countries that seem to have taxed their way to prosperity. Exactly right. Now, but average income isn't the only measure of how well we're doing. You're saying that money's not the only important thing? Let's go to the other extreme and let's look at happiness, oh, right? Wow. So let's let's measure, you know, how happy people are and compare that to the level of taxation. Right. So again, we have Australia that we've put in the middle, all right? Um, and we have our four country, uh, quadrants. We have lower tax but less happy than Australia. We have higher tax and less happy. And here we've got higher tax and more happy, and here lower tax and more happy. So we're still measuring tax on the same axis, yep. but instead of looking at income, we're looking at happiness. All right, let's look at the data. So let's look at the first quadrant. We shouldn't expect a lot of countries in here because this is a place where they have lower taxes. So according to Tony Abbott's dictum, they should be happier. All they should the be better tax off. people should be up here and happy. Exactly right. So what we have is a whole load of people who are in low tax countries but are unhappy. What about this next quadrant? Now we have a heap of high tax countries, but they're less happy than Australia. Right. And finally, if, oh sorry, second from the end, we have high tax countries that have higher happiness and we have a fair amount of those. So here we've got, again, countries like Denmark and Norway collecting more tax than Australia. Yep. And they seem happier. They seem happier. They don't feel burdened. They don't Where's for some the wet reason. blanket effect? But of course, we're expecting a lot of countries here. These so are if the... Tony Abbott's right, yep. when we cut taxes, there should be a whole bunch of people in a low tax, really happy country. All right, let's see the data. This should be full. Oh. None. There's no countries at all. <laughs> so there's no countries that report having higher happiness in Australia that have got lower taxes than yes. us. Yes. If you have lower taxes in Australia as a country, then you are by definition, less happy than Australia. Wow, all right. So it's as if they're completely wrong. We, exactly right. Have so we got any more data? We do, we have another measure, which is called the Inequality Adjusted Human Development Index. Oh, that it's, sounds fancy. It rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? <laughs> um, so basically, the Human Development Index is, a, is a, an index that the, uh, the, the United Nations put together that tries to measure um, welfare by including things like income, education and health. So it combines those three things. So life expectancy, yep. infant mortality, whether you finish school, all, yep. all the stuff that might actually matter. Yep, and then it adjusts it for inequality. That is, um, it, it, uh, it, it gives a higher rank if you have a more equal society and a lower rank if you've got a less equal society. All right. So our four quadrants, we have lower uh, inequality adjusted human development index, lower tax, higher tax, um, lower inequality, uh, Inequality Adjusted Human Development Index. Really does roll off the tongue. It does really roll <laughs> off the tongue. And here, higher tax, higher index, lower tax, higher index. All right, let's see the data. All right, let's see the first quadrant. Again, right. we Lots have, uh, like the others, a whole heap of countries. So having low taxes has not delivered them great education, life expectancy, or, or income. In or income. Yep. Okay, interesting. Next one. All right. Not very many up there when we'd expect to see quite a lot. Yep, so these are the countries that are collecting more tax than Australia, but they're not actually doing as well as us when it comes to Human Development Index. Yep. 
All right, this is the interesting one. Oh, look, same countries again. Same countries again. Oh, look, these Nordic countries keep popping up, don't they? Sweden, Finland, Norway, Iceland, well, Japan and Switzerland. But Japan and Switzerland are quite close to Australia. So these Nordic countries are collecting a fair bit more tax than Australia and they're doing better than us on uh, life expectancy, schools, education. And All our right. final quadrant? The Tony Abbott's favourite quadrant? None again. Empty again. Again. Donuts. So so basically, if you, uh, if you are lower tax than Australia, then you, are not, you do not have a higher um, inequality adjusted human development index. Or to be clear, if Australia wanted to model itself on a low tax country that did better than us, if we were going to put a country up that was going to have higher income than us, more happiness than us, better human development scores, there is literally not a country in the world for us to model ourselves on. So the idea that tax is some sort of wet blanket that ruins the economy is literally not borne out by the data. In fact, the data shows there's no low tax country that we might aspire to be, but there are plenty of countries that might want to look more like Australia. Mm. At the Australia Institute, our goal is to provide you with the facts and knowledge so that you can confidently participate in the debate and push back against all the nonsense and econobabble that's out there. So if you want to help spread the truth, share this video to a friend or via your social media to help us get the word out. And of course, subscribe to our channel so that you can stay updated with the latest research and analysis. And remember, if you want to ask us a question, leave it in the comment below, or you can send us an email at mail at australiainstitute.org.au with Ask an Economist in the subject line.